Denying how big this one is right now. Henry Cejudo, number two in the world, 30 years old. Wilson Hayes entrenched at number five, is 32. Both fighters five foot four inches tall. 125 and a hook for Cejudo, 125 on the screws for Hayes, who will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, back inside to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 22 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, by way of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the number five ranked flyweight contender in the world. Wilson Hayes! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 10 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, USA, presenting the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling and the number two ranked flyweight contender in the world, Henry the Messenger Sahuda. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Jaron Vallejo. Jaron Vallejo back in there for this flyweight matchup here. The beautiful Ariane Celeste is here getting us started for round one of a possible three feature bout here in the UFC flyweight division. Henry Cejudo is in the black trunks. Wilson Hayes is in gray. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Bud Lightlip. Look at Henry Cejudo with a karate stance. Very interesting. <laughs> you know the last fight against Benavidez, there was some 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 personal beef between them. So you, it looked like Henry fought and let that carry him. Let's see if he can take that same type of striking approach right. in this fight against Hayes. I mean, he's got kind of this Conor McGregor style going on here. Yeah. Oh, oh nice right here. hard hit right to the body. There's a pop to that. Hayes is going to have to get some respect, Joe. Yeah, really. I mean, Cejudo just landed a hard right kick to the body and a right hand behind it. Very interesting the way he's moving, though. I mean, he's choosing a wide stance. Right. And very elusive. Nice inside leg oh, kick, good nice right combination. hand. Nice combination. Ooh, he hurt him. He hurt Wilson. He hurt Wilson. Yeah, his punches are having an effect on Wilson. Oh, Again. Nice. He seems a bit faster. He's, a little, he's faster than Wilson. You know, this is what we talked about when we were talking about a real Olympic gold medalist in wrestling. The kind of athlete that you have to be to do that, you can get great at everything. And you're seeing that here, that same kind of focus. Oh. You're seeing a massively improved Henry Cejudo. This is two fights in a row where he's looked better in the stand-up. Wilson Hayes has to do something to change this. Yeah, he looked better against Benavidez. He looks way better tonight. Yeah. Like, look at this. Oh. Straight right nice right hook by Hayes. Hayes landed a nice right hook in that in that little exchange there. Hayes is landing if Suhudo stands in front of him in the pocket. But Hayes has more of a hard time closing the distance. He doesn't fight as long. Suhudo's fighting with a lot of confidence right now. Suhudo lands nearly two times as many significant strikes per minute as Hayes. And he is certainly in pursuit of his first UFC finish here through two plus minutes. Well, that style that Cejudo is employing, that, that stance, is the same sort of stance that Connor liked to use, that we saw Leo de Machino oh. use a lot in his career, and that allows you to leap in and out. Watch him, watch him, watch him. He waits for Hayes to try to close oh. the distance, nice and then he goes to his offense. Now he's in the front headlock position, drag him down. He's going to try to get his right knee behind Wilson. Now he's going to take the cradle to get the angle. Now he's got some top control. Wilson's doing a good job of holding his wrist. If Wilson Hayes, while holding his wrist, just get back to his feet, he'll be fine. He's holding on to him here and landing some good shots and beating him up. The question is going to be, can Wilson do anything to him on the ground that he doesn't expect? Yeah. Because on the feet, he's having his way with Wilson. So does he decide to just challenge that 
ground game of Wilson's and see what's up. UFC 215, Nunez versus Shevchenko 2 is brought to you by 7-Eleven, your neighborhood store. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Cejudo has found the range early. 29 significant strikes landed already. Wilson here attempting a single. Very smart by Wilson to attack a single. You wouldn't expect him to try to take Cejudo down, but he has to change something because Cejudo's having so much success. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. Henry, fist close. It's interesting because Henry's not that much taller. Oh, oh beautiful kick and a left right behind it. Man, Cejudo looks fantastic right now. Hey, somewhat desperate, pressing forward with his own strikes. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, oh knocked out Cejudo. Oh, look at that leg okay. kick. Man, just mixing it up. Beautiful. Not Knee to the body. He's not allowing Wilson to get a beat on what he's doing. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Only thing he hasn't done is wrestle, and he's the Olympic champ. Well, it's been a boxing-heavy attack from Cejudo really throughout his UFC career. He hasn't been a volume takedown artist. No surprise, significant right strikes. When we said that. Look at that. Quick finish. That was beautiful. Every time you call somebody on something, they do the opposite, DC. It's like they're listening. They don't take time. It's not you <laughs> calling it on a second, and all of a sudden it's done. No Stradamas, no Strogan. <laughs> Break clean. Big, big round for Henry Cejudo. Man, he looked good. And one of the things that we were saying is they're, they're similar height, but this style that he's employing allows him to attack from so much further, cover so much more distance. And what I'm really impressed with is how he's being so creative. He's mixing things up. He's throwing a punch, and then behind it's a low kick, and then there's high kicks. I mean, he throws everything. I mean, no, he Henry looks like, Cejudo, yeah, he a, looks like a seasoned striker yeah. in there right now, not the wrestling guy. But and I mean, everything's a combination, too. And like a karate guy. Next Saturday, former middleweight champion Luke Brocko returns from an extended layoff against the surging and well-rounded David Branch. UFC Fight Night from Pittsburgh, PA, next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern on FS1. All right, here we go, second Great round. Fight. Henry Cejudo and Wilson Hayes. Hayes and Gray Cejudo after a dominant first round is in black. Now you see Hayes fight with some urgency, trying to take the lead. He needs to take the lead. He cannot just try to wait and absorb everything from Henry Cejudo. He clipped him with the right hook there. Lightning fast that right hand. Like a piss. Holy smoke. Woo. And that might have even Damn. impressed the UFC flyweight King Demetrius Johnson. Henry Cejudo sending a message to the rest of this division tonight. And a nice show of mutual respect there. DJ says, I'm waiting, bro. Mighty Mouse gave him the golf clap, too. <laughs> hey. Gave him the slow golf clap. Mighty Mouse, calm down, young man. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want me to remind you yeah. who the king is. This is exactly the result that Henry Cejudo needed to produce tonight. Let's show you the replay fight replay brought to you by Bud Light Living. Let's just take a look at this right hand. I mean, that is a piston. And we're looking at it in slow-mo. If I, if we could, I'd like to see that punch again in real time. Because it was just lightning fast. Perfect technique. And he just blasted him with it. We're going to check it out now in real time. Watch this. Oh, come on. Come on, son. That's some speed. Where's the sports science on that one? My goodness. What's the speed? Henry Cejudo with the right hand. My goodness. This is a wrestler. I'm going to tell it well. Better and better every single time. Look, they said the reason. I just got a text from somebody within the wrestling community. They told me, DC, 
He traded the cheetah for this fight. That's why he looks like a karate guy. You dummy. They call me a dummy, man. Come on, guys. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Metro PCS, who brings you closer than ever to the UFC on a fast nationwide 4G LT network. Here now, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jaron Vallel has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Henry the Messenger Sahuda. My oh, man, I am here with the winner, and what what a win that was! Uh, the ever improving Henry Sahudo. You won, and then you immediately ran over to Mighty Mouse. You guys exchanged words. What did you guys say to each other? All right, I just gave him a thumbs up. I said, you know, he's uh, he's a champ for a reason. I, it was just fun and games, man, but I do want to fight eventually someday, for sure. Well, Henry, one of the things that's been most impressive about watching you is how quickly you improve some of your techniques. And tonight, you showed a whole new style in a lot of ways. You were really wide stance. You were landing almost like a karate style. Yeah, absolutely. I went down to Natal with the, with the Pitbull brothers, Patricio and Patricky, and I took back some of that karate stuff with me. So it's talking about innovation. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly evolving, but I want to thank my coaches, Santino, Allen, Captain Eric Albertson. And I'm just improving, Joe. I'm just improving, man. Hopefully that's worth 50 Gs, man, because I've been, I've been robbed a couple of times with 50 Gs. Hopefully that's worth 50 Gs. Well, I'm not the one who dishes it out, but I was thoroughly impressed. I was very impressed at how creative you were being, too. Let's look at that right hand that stopped it. But what, one of the things that was almost more impressive than that one punch was how you were mixing things up so well. You were going high and low. It was just really, overall, much more comprehensive striking game than we've ever seen from you before. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. I, again, when I, when I, I've been only fighting for four years now, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just evolving. I'm just kind of scratching the surface, Joe. And uh, that's all, man. I want, I want to fight for the title eventually again. Well, I am sure you will again, sir. Congratulations on an absolutely spectacular performance.